Hey, hi, how you doing? I was doing good until I saw your video. Hi guys, it's Wissy Summer here. And if you've been in the Warframe community, or so much as basically smelt the Warframe community in recent weeks, you'll be very familiar with the drama. The drama over whether Warframe is dying, because let's be honest, the Warframe community has many, many dramas. <sighs> now, I wasn't really going to say anything much about this, because I didn't really have anything to add to the conversation. <laughs> but, but then the Gamer Tron show came along and made a video. And it's, 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 it's... Oh god, it's awful. I'm really confused right now. There's been a recent upsurge of videos and comments and forum posts saying that Warframe is dying and failing and all of a sudden is now a bad game. So instead of making assumptions and just giving my personal take on things, I want all of you to inform me as to what's going on here. Because all the numbers, all the stats, all the objective facts clearly show that Warframe is not dying, it's not failing, it's not losing popularity, it hasn't all of a sudden transformed into an awful video game because if we look at the player numbers, this year 2018 has been Warframe's best year for players ever. It, yeah, because it's not like the chart that you literally just showed on the screen shows that in September Warframe lost 24% of its player base. Not dying, by the way. Also, on this point that like people are saying that Warframe is a bad game, is... Is, is, is anyone actually, like, saying that? There's a difference between asking for more sustainable content in Warframe and saying, Hey, guys! <laughs> Warframe's shit. And people aren't saying that Warframe is suddenly a fucking terrible game simply because they're saying that Warframe has a sustainability problem. I mean, maybe if you'd looked at that chart you were trying to use as evidence that Warframe isn't, you know, bad now. Maybe you'd have realized that Warframe kind of does have this sustainability problem. Maybe just, just saying. If you look at all of the peaks that Warframe has had this year, it's been when the big content drops have come out. When things like The Sacrifice have come out, and people start coming back in order to play those. And then guess what happens? They leave again. That's why the chart that you literally show in your own video shows a 10% drop in August and a 25% drop in September. That, 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 I don't know, but that doesn't seem... That doesn't seem very healthy to me. The reviews are still overwhelmingly positive. It hasn't been review bombed lately at all or anything like that. Well, of course it hasn't been review bombed because people aren't saying that it's a bad game. I heard some claims that Warframe isn't doing too well on YouTube and or Twitch. Well, the YouTube part, that's not true at all. Warframe is still very successful and very popular on YouTube, so I don't know why that claim is being made. Okay, and... Oh, oh, oh my god. This is just awful. Okay, so like... Using YouTube views of YouTube videos as a metric of how successful the game is. How do you not realize this is a, this is just a, a terrible metric to use? This just doesn't make any sense. Because first of all, the most popular Warframe video this year has been We All Live Together. You know, the, the bit of music that everyone seems to like. And that people have been playing over and over again. Also, as for the others, that doesn't mean that the game is successful. You, you, you realize that, right? A video can get millions of views, but that doesn't mean that the game that it's about is successful. That means that the video is successful. That means the channel is successful. Also, the most popular one has had 11 months to get there. 
at least the most popular one that you highlight. Like, <laughs> this argument is just ridiculous because you're set. It's like saying that a video that was uploaded ten years ago that now has millions of views that was about like Counter Strike Source or some shit. That means that Counter Strike Source is popular. Like, it just it doesn't work that way. It just really doesn't. As for Twitch, there's a legit argument to be made there. Viewer numbers are down on Twitch, but viewer numbers are completely dependent on which Twitch streamers are streaming the game, and right now everyone on Twitch is jumping on the Fortnite bandwagon, so every game on Twitch is suffering except Fortnite. Oh god, this is... <sighs> do, 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 you, do you even go on Twitch, like, ever? The viewer numbers for, for Warframe are absolutely dependent on who's streaming at the given time, because if one of the bigger streamers, or if all of the bigger streamers for Warframe aren't playing Warframe, then obviously Warframe viewers, viewership is going to be down. That is true. But there's two problems here. First of all, even if it was true that people have been jumping on the Fortnite bandwagon, isn't that maybe because of the fact that the bigger streamers are all bored of Warframe? Because there's no sustainable content? Don't, 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 don't you think, don't you think maybe that's why it is? Also, there's the fact that they, they just haven't, that's just not how it's been, oh. Look, I'm not saying that no Warframe streamer has gone and started playing Fortnite instead. But if you look at what the bigger streamers have actually been playing, that they've been playing the, the, the famous Fortnite expansion. Destiny 2 Forsaken. And to be honest, for the most part, they, they've actually been playing Warframe. So, if the numbers are down, that's not because the bigger streamers haven't been playing it. Because they have. And the numbers are still down. Which suggests there's a whole other problem going on. Doesn't it? So yeah, this recent almost revolt against Warframe and the developers' digital extremes from Warframe YouTubers, people in the comments, on forums, I'm just not getting it, I'm not seeing it, it's not clicking with me. You look at the player counts, you look at the reviews, they're completely contradicting this narrative. I'm also seeing a lot of complaints and discussions about content drought, which just leads me to ask the question if you're getting bored of Warframe or if you've done everything in Warframe and you're experiencing a content drought, why don't you just play another game? Hey, MR26 player. Hey, veterans. Hey, people that have been there since the start. You've spent lots of money in Warframe. You've bought the Tenogen. You've bought the Prime Access. You've been the ones that have buy been buying the plat. You've been the ones that have been paying all of this money to help support the game and its development. You've done everything there is to do in Warframe. So fuck off and go and play something else. Like CSGO or... Fortnite. <laughs> I don't honestly think he realizes how stupid this argument is. I, 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 I don't, I don't think he realizes it, guys. Like, how... Oh, oh my god. Like, the whole point of this debate is that we want a reason for people to stay in the game. We don't really want veterans to, you know, just leave. Maybe. Because that's a really, really stupid way of keeping the game alive. Like, you can't possibly think that over the longer term telling people that, hey, just just go and play another game is something that's actually going to work out, right? You can't possibly think that telling people, hey, maybe maybe just maybe just Warframe don't don't do it anymore until the next content comes out in several months time. You can't possibly think that that's a sustainable strategy.
because then you're entirely reliant on enough new people coming along to replace the people and our board of Warframe again. Which is kind of silly. The whole argument that people are making about Warframe dying is because of the fa is precisely because that's what people are doing. Now, I'm not saying that no one is ever going to get bored of Warframe, or that people aren't going to go and move on to other games, because of course they are, over time. But the point is having some kind of content that's there for them when they get back, in between these big content releases. People shouldn't be leaving the game altogether until Digital Extremes releases the next big update and then they'd have something to grind for for like a month or so. And then ultimately they just end up leaving the game again. This is the whole point, this is the whole argument that people are making, and it seems like it's been completely lost on you. It just, it just doesn't make any sense. It's, oh, this whole video has been a terrible, terrible mistake. In, in many ways. But still, it's fine. Because <laughs> we can always go and play Fortnite. Well, thank you everyone for watching this atrocious piece of content. Bye. <laughs>